This is Dr. Farhad Bolchi with CDOCS, and in this tip of the day, I will be discussing the positioning of the Astra EV implant and specifically the positioning in flapless cases. Now, the Astra EV implant is a great implant system to use in cases where we have slope ridges. As you can see here in this specific case where we have a slope ridge to the buckle, which is often the case, which happens after extractions, and a lot of times by placing a profile implant, which is the only implant uh, system on the market that has a sloped design, this Astra EV profile implant, it perfectly fits within this ridge. And so it is an ideal implant for this specific ridge, for this specific case to be placed. Now, the unfortunate thing is that when we place these uh, implants guided, and if we do have the luxury of being able to place them flapless, such as in this case, because we have a lot of tissue and adequate bone, not requiring any flap reflection or bone grafting, if we place these implants flapless, the guided drivers for the profile implant don't have an indication of how to position the slope correctly to the buckle aspect. So what we do is that we go ahead and place these implants uh, fully guided, prepare the site fully guided, such as in this case, flapless, place the implants fully guided with the appropriate driver, but we do not know now exactly where the slope is ending up. So the remedy around that is then to use a non-guided profile implant driver because with the non-guided drivers, there is a flat surface and that flat surface corresponds to the slope on the implant. These profile, these non-guided profile drivers will only pick up the implant in one position. So if that flat surface is positioned to the buckle, we know that the slope is in the exact same position and therefore we know that we have positioned the implant 100% correctly. So we go ahead and do 99% uh, of the work guided uh, through the guide with the guided drivers. We place the implant and then we have to do the last quarter or maximum half a turn with the non-guided drivers, thereby positioning the slope of the profile implant exactly where it belongs on the buckle in this case. So I hope this tip of the day has been helpful. And as always, if you have any further questions or further discussions on similar topics, please refer to the CDOCS website at cdocs.com.